Hi there, I'm Jackie. In this video, I want to go over some of the new features of AOP 19.2. 19.2 is a big release for us. We've included a lot of new features, enhancements, and bug fixes. I want to go over some of the cool stuff we've added that you can start using today. Our newest feature is called AOP Report. You can now print using AOP without creating a template. You can specify native print attributes in your classic or interactive reports, and AOP will generate a template for you based on your specifications. This makes it really easy to print your interactive and classic reports. By specifying different settings in your print attributes, you can customize the look and feel of your report in any way you want. If you want to use this new feature, just specify AOP report as your template type, and AOP will do the rest. One of our users' favorite features of AOP is being able to print interactive reports and interactive grids exactly as they're shown on the screen. With AOP 19.2, you can now do the same for classic reports. By just using a single tag in your template, you can get your classic report exactly as it's shown on the screen. Print attributes are even taken into account to customize the look and feel of your classic report. In AOP, we have the concept of an AOP template. This is a template that AOP will create for you in order to help you get started in customizing your own templates. We've made a couple of improvements to the AOP template. Now, whenever you create an AOP template for an interactive report, interactive grid, or classic report, the what you see is what you get tags will be included at the top of the template. There are a lot of new features in AOP 19.2. You can now print your percent graph columns for interactive and classic reports. We now offer support for translated applications by picking up the translated versions of the headers and labels if they're available. All of your font apex icons will now be printed as well. There are also Excel enhancements. AOP now automatically adjusts the cell width and cell height, or you can customize it. Native office charts have also been improved. Now the chart data is actually embedded inside the document which enables you to edit it after you've created your report. We've made a number of PDF enhancements. You can now overlay text on top of any PDF. You can also lock forms on PDFs, and you can define a number of copies you want to be exported. We've added new data sources. You can now use REST Web Services or GraphQL as your data source. Just pass the URL and some metadata that the service needs and AOP will do the rest. You can also specify ref cursors as your data source. This could be useful when doing forms migrations as ref cursors are typically very common inside of those APIs. We have a couple of new data types, JSON and XML. This makes it really easy if you're doing a REST call or using a web module that generates JSON or XML data. You can put that data directly into AOP. We also have new output locations. You can now specify a database directory on your database server or an SFTP location to output your file to. Of course, we've also added a lot of examples to our sample application. We've added an example on how to use checkboxes to only print selected records. There's a new example for HTML email from Word or HTML. You can also find a new example on scheduling an interactive report from PLSQL. Along with a new master detail example and a few examples of how to preview Office documents in an inline viewer. We've also made it a little easier for you to debug. There's a new procedure you can call to check if AOP is available or listening at the URL you've specified. In the sample app, we've also added our quick template changer. The quick template changer can be really useful when you're first developing a report and making lots of changes to your tags and templates. You can drop in your JSON and your template, make changes to your template as needed, and quickly generate your output. You can make all your changes quickly in one place, and then when you're happy, add it to your page. And as always, we've updated our documentation. If you ever run into any trouble, check our documentation at apexofficeprint.com docs, or email us 
at support at apexofficeprint.com. We hope you enjoy AOP 19 too.